Hi, I'm David and this is The Biology Classroom. This is AS Common Mistakes, Part 5. Number 1. Stating that lung cancer is COPD. COPD, or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, is a chronic inflammatory lung disease that causes obstructed airflow from the lungs. Symptoms include breathing difficulty, coughing, excessive mucus production, and wheezing. Two of the most common conditions are emphysema and chronic bronchitis. Lung cancer is a condition where cells in the lung divide uncontrollably due to mutations. It is not a COPD. Number 2. Describing the effect of nicotine on the brain when asked about the effect on the cardiovascular system. When asked about the effect of nicotine on the cardiovascular system, your answer should refer to the heart and the blood vessels. Some examples including it damages the lining of arteries, increases heart rate and blood pressure, increases the risk of arteriosclerosis and vasoconstriction. Its effects on the nervous system, such as causes addiction and increases the release of dopamine, should not be included. Number 3. Naming an organism when asked what type of organism causes a disease and vice versa. Here are the names and types of pathogen that cause some important diseases you have to know. Check the questions carefully before you answer them. Number 4. Confusing HIV, HIV positive and AIDS. HIV is the name of the virus that causes the disease. HIV positive means one has been infected by HIV and antibody specific to the virus has been produced. It does not necessarily mean that this person has AIDS. AIDS, acquired immune deficiency syndrome, is the most advanced stage of HIV infection. To be diagnosed with AIDS, a person with HIV must have an AIDS-defining condition, for example, Kaposi sarcoma and Burkitt lymphoma, or have a CD4 count less than 200 cells per millimeter cube. Number 5. Stating that antibiotics cannot work on virus cell walls. Antibiotics do not work on viruses because viruses do not have a metabolism. Viruses have no cell wall as well. Number 6. Stating that bacteria are immune to antibiotics. Immunity refers to our body's defense reaction in response to the presence of an antigen. These reactions protect us from infections by removing foreign material with great speed and effectiveness. The ability of a microorganism such as bacteria to withstand the effects of an antibiotic is known as antibiotic resistance. Number 7. Stating that a pathogen is an antigen. An antigen is a molecule that is recognized by the body as foreign, non-self and thus stimulates an immune response. It can be any type of molecules such as proteins, carbohydrates, nucleic acid or even fats. A pathogen is a biological agent that causes disease, for example, virus, bacterium, fungus or protoctase. A pathogen can be recognized and attacked by our body immune system because some molecules on its surface act as the antigen. If you extract the antigen and inject it in a person's body, the same immune response will be triggered. Number 8. Stating that a memory cell remembers. Memory cell has the capability to secrete antibodies rapidly or act as the T helper or T killer cells immediately when a specific antigen that the body has previously encountered is detected again. The correct term to use is that it provides immunological memory. Number 9. Stating that antibodies are removed from a small mammal in monoclonal antibody production. In the process, plasma cells are extracted from the spleen of a small mammal. Number 10. Stating that antibodies are mixed with myeloma cells to form hybridoma. Plasma cells are fused with myeloma cells to form a hybridoma. Hybridoma cells producing antibodies are identified. Then, it is cultured on a large scale to secret monoclonal antibodies. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook. Thank you and see you again soon.